Oh. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Don't worry, I was singing yesterday, I was singing the whole Frozen soundtrack, so I think I've strained my vocal cords. Fingers crossed. Welcome back to the channel guys, what the f is going on holy shit guys i hope everyone who's watching is safe Um, i hope no one has been affected by this horrible horrible thing that's going on the dog's licking the other dog's ear at the minute so that's pretty grim as well can you stop that guys thank you um for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um and please give this video a like um it's not really a likable video to be honest but um you know if you give it a like more people might see it so that would be great. Um, I want to just talk about quickly about some things to do with the coronavirus and me and also what I think about social distancing and stuff because I would love to hear what you guys think. So for me, I'm high risk, obviously I would be. I think it's uh, being a homosexual, no, I'm joking. I think it's being, um, I, because I've got had TM, which is like a, a, a form of MS, but it just, it hits this previous video is on my diagnosis of TM uh, but also because of my spine being bent as it yeah I've got lower lung capacity so one lung's about that big and one lung's about that big so um, yeah so it means that my lungs haven't got that much air in to start with so if I get this if I catch it I am fucked and um, basically because I really don't think I'll be able to fight something like that off and um, it seems to be so so aggressive some of the misconceptions that i've been because obviously i'm paranoid to death probably not the best word to use obviously i'm paranoid so i'm thinking about things and watching loads of stuff checking the internet all the time what's going on where in the world's got the most cases whatnot originally being told that it only affected people of a certain age over over 70s and um, with underlying health problems like that is not true um in italy and in iran um and america this is affecting younger people and um, with no health issues so don't think because you're young and fit as out just because you think you can do a few you know run around the blocks it's not enough guys and also this is the whole thing about social distancing i mean i'm I like my own space as much as the, the next man and I don't really mind being you know by myself I quite enjoy it this is a little bit different though this is this is choice being taken away from you so you know and um, being stuck in the house is going to be difficult for me as well even though I like to be by myself but it's so important because this two meter rule you know people oh, we'll, we'll be all right with two meters away from each other i think that's really selfish because for someone like me or someone else who's vulnerable it just takes someone who's two meters away just to maybe step a little bit closer than two meters in the queue for the shops and then to pick something up and you know like people who are going to gatherings people who are going you know to get the hair cut still i think it's mad you're really putting people's lives in danger as well as your own it's like serious shit the nhs are already running out of ppe um they haven't got the right masks what the hell is going on what is what what, what we're gonna do like i'm genuine 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 where well, i can't say it i'm concerned about the state of the situation like and, and again there's nothing i can do and there's you know the only thing i can do is stay at home and keep out of people's way which some people might quite like you guys know i've been going to university for three years and that's come to a, a big halt um in our final year um which is you know pretty devastating that we don't get to have the experience that way other people have had um however the university of sunderland are 
the performing arts department especially um, are amazing. They're doing everything they can to make our final year be um, as good as they can make it. So I really appreciate that and I'm sure everyone else on our course does. No one's been in this situation before so for people to just do their best is you can't ask for anything more. I mean, I was looking forward to the graduation gown, I'm not going to lie. However, I do have me Madonna uh, cape for my birthday, so I'll just wear that. Um, so yeah, like everyone's got to sacrifice things and um, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more difficult for other people. People have got edu the kids' education to think about and um, homeschooling. I mean, I've tried homeschooling with the dogs. It's not easy, guys. I'm not going to lie. They can't do lie down. They can't do sit. Uh, I, I mean, I've you know I've tried and tried. The teachers out there who are still going to school to teach the people with of key workers. Thank you very much for those people in the NHS who are on the front line who are doing their very best to save everyone to to work in all the hours and also the people who are going to be working in the weeks to come. Just thank you very much and you know the NHS has done so much for me over the years. I wouldn't like to say a bill that's for sure but I just want to say that while this is going on I'm going to be doing lots of little videos to hopefully make you a little bit happier and um, to entertain you but also some really good tips. So I'm going to start doing some hairdressing tips for while you're at home um, that you can do on your children or even better, why don't you make your child watch the video so they can do it on your hair? I mean, why have children if you're not going to do that? Do you know what I mean? Use the child, make it part of the lesson plan. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to film one tonight and hopefully get it edited by t uh, tomorrow and we'll get one out. Um, so we'll do blow drying and platinum tomorrow. I haven't been in contact with anyone apart from the Asda delivery driver but I wore these. This kept cover. I've got the size too big and it kept covering my eyes. And I couldn't see me shopping. Also I can't breathe. Is that are you meant to not be able to breathe? Anyway. Anyway, um st stay safe everyone, stay at home, call people on FaceTime, and call your loved ones. It's very scary, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna make a pie tonight. So that's good, isn't it? Um however can you believe this just before I go? I'm making a, a couple of pies. I'm making a, a corned beef and a cheese um, pie. Um, cheese and obviously potato, corned beef and potato. I ordered two short crust pastries already rolled because I haven't got the strength to roll. Can you believe it? The scent is puff pastry. How, how the hell did they know? So I've got one short crust and one puff pastry. Do I make the corned beef puff pastry or do I make the cheese? Decisions, decisions. I've got a lot of time on my hands, guys. I'm sure I'll get through it. So hopefully I haven't already caught the corona because if I have, I'm... That video there was filmed today before Mr. Boris Johnson announced that we were going on to lockdown. So what does this mean for us? For our freedom? Um, well, I'm kind of glad it's been done because it shows how serious this is. What do you guys think? Um, it's scary, isn't it? I'm not going to lie. Um, how's everyone's emotions? And how does everyone feel mental health wise? Um, I feel quite scared, I'm not going to lie. I feel like, I hope I haven't got it already and, you know, 
Excuse me, hello. Hmm. What are you doing? Are you chilling? Yeah. Oof. I kind of, I kind of think, oh, like you see the pictures, um, and it just looks so grim. It looks so scary, and it, it, I feel so bad for the people who are having to having to die like alone. Uh, just awful. But hopefully these measures have been done for the right reasons and we can get things sorted. Um, so fingers crossed. Sad day.